Hello, great people of Nigeria. Welcome to the Leadership Clinic. Today, I'll be speaking on the vision process. I was teaching a class on globalization and creative impact. So an individual in class stood up to ask me a question. And he said, Mr. Linus Okori, how do I find my vision? Or how can I create a vision? So the first thing I mentioned to the person was strictly the pathway to vision is first understanding purpose. When purpose is understood clearly, in that purpose is a birth of a vision. And once you create a vision, once a vision is created, there's a clear picture of the future in your mind of where you are going to. When you understand clearly the destination, the next thing that you have to do in the vision process is to actually articulate that vision in clear terms. The articulation of the vision in clear terms will be putting it on paper, clarifying that vision, writing it so clear that anybody, anywhere that reads it will understand exactly what you are talking about. So the moment that you have articulated the vision, it is your responsibility to now own the vision. When you own the vision, when the vision becomes a part of your life, when the vision becomes a part of everything that concerns you, where you actually grow into the vision, where you actually eat up the vision, where you actually become so connected to the vision, what it does is that it creates a very high level of passion inside of you to get ready to do the next thing in the process of vision. And the next thing is actually transferring the vision to every other person around, which, which is to begin to sell the vision to your team, to begin to sell the vision to the people you want to work with, to begin to sell the vision to stakeholders, begin to sell the vision to anyone that you think will be connected to your future. In fact, it will interest you to know that the moment that you have been able to own the vision and transfer the vision, the next thing in the vision process is my most interesting, which is execution, executing the vision. The power of vision is so interesting that anyone who understands what Warren Bennis said, that leadership is the ability to translate vision into action. Immediately your vision is activated, executed. Guess what's going on? You begin to see the results of your vision. Sometimes it delays, but guess what? Most importantly, you will always achieve it if you stay the course. Jack Wex said, good leaders create a vision, articulate the vision, passionately own the vision, and relentlessly drive the vision. And this is actually what I endorse. Great people of Nigeria, you must remember, if a man doesn't have a purpose waking up, sleeping becomes interesting. Thank you.